The Sterling Hill Mine is on the edge of the town called Ogdensburg. We're in Sussex County and that's in north central New Jersey. This is one of the five oldest mines in the United States. It was in continuous operation from about 1850 to 1986, but some of the mine workings predate that. We know the earliest mine workings here were dug before 1739. We just don't know how much earlier it was. There is a lot of history in this mine. It's one of the, again, one of the five oldest in the United States. A lot of mining law got created here. A lot of mining technology got developed here. Some of the techniques to separate ore minerals from the waste rock were developed here in response to the need to extract our ore minerals from a rock type that nobody had ever seen before. So some of those techniques are still in use in ore processing today. This mine, the Sterling Hill Mine, are the one just uh, to our north, two miles to our north in Franklin. They are New Jersey's two zinc mines. So zinc was the metal they were after. The three ore minerals that contain zinc were called Franklinite, Willemite, and Zincite. All three occur in major quantities in this mine. Two of them occur in various other parts of the world, but not in substantial quantities. Here they were present by the hundreds of thousands to millions of tons in mineable quantities. So this is the only place in the world where Franklinite and Zincite have ever been mined and there are very few others where Willemite is a commercial ore mineral. The rock I'm holding now is a piece of the zinc ore from Sterling Hill and this particular piece contains a lot of Zincite in it, one of our major ore minerals. And it's this red mineral you see right here by my finger. That beautiful deep red mineral, that's Zincite. It comprises about 1% of the zinc ore at Sterling Hill. It's the rarest of the three, but still we have it here in major quantities. The sample I'm holding now contains two of the major zinc ore minerals from Sterling Hill. The tan one is Willemite. The black one is Franklinite. That's about all you see in this rock, black and tan. This is a very rich piece of zinc ore. This mine is world famous for the number of minerals that have been found here. Our current count is about 360 minerals. That's roughly 8% of all mineral species known on the planet. There is no simple explanation at all for why we have so many minerals here, but one of them, uh, the beginning of this ore deposit, it was chemically complex to begin with. If I listed all the elements that occur in this ore deposit, that would be quite a lengthy list. And that was about 1.2 billion years ago when this ore deposit first started to develop. This ore body that we mined for so many years at one time was buried at a depth of 15 kilometers. It's hot down there. A lot of new minerals formed under great temperatures and great pressures. Temperatures of 780 degrees centigrade. That's a little over 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. Think of how hot that is. Now it's exposed to the surface elements at room temperature and we have rain falling on it and that rain water percolating through the rocks is altering the minerals in those rocks and creating new minerals in their place. Over time, 1.2 billion years again, we've had various types of fluids migrate through fractures in the ore body. Those fluids have reacted with the rocks, extracted some components, formed others, new minerals formed at every stage of the process. We've had over in Franklin, we've had some igneous intrusions form, molten magma intruding the ore body on and on and on, all these different things forming new minerals at every stage of the process and we have 360 of them to our credit now. I'm certain the record of finding minerals here is not yet over. We will find new minerals in this deposit. We have a couple candidate minerals out for study now. They may be new to the deposit or they may even be new mineral species, time will tell.